Okay, so welcome back. Um, I'm gonna continue on with our rig here. So the next thing we're gonna do is to paint the skin weights, right? So since we already got this rig already done, let's go to our outliner real quick. And right here, I have a group one which has all of these objects of the body. So I'm just gonna rename this and call it Alien. Alright. Now what we need to do now is to build a relationship between the body and the joint alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the joint and then I'm gonna control and select the alien now we're gonna go to skin bind skin alright we're gonna use this setting just this default setting so if you want to reset the setting you can just go to edit and reset the settings you get this Right, and we're gonna go and bind the skin now what that does is if I move my master controller now you can see that the whole model moves along with it so for example here I can you know move my hand and then you know it just does this or if you need to rotate him this way you know it, the model kind of follows but we still have some issues um, for example over here if you see if I were to rotate this way you can see some of the vertexes that's over here follows as well now the reason for that is because the skin weights is not painted properly yet alright so that's what we're gonna do next to make sure that the skin weight is painted properly so the idea is that each of these joints right all these joints that we did earlier on all of them have are influencing some of the vertices that is on the model alright and when we bend them as such the vertices will bend as well alright but because Maya doesn't really understand which vertex needs to be assigned it kind of tries its best to assign for example this group of vertices to this joint over here alright but Maya doesn't get it perfectly right so we need to go inside here and make some tweaks and adjustments to make sure that for example the very very basic one so far as if I put my left hand up nothing around here or here should be influenced by this movement alright so only this group of vertices is supposed to move alright so that's what we're going to do next now there's a couple of ways for us to so called paint the weights firstly we can select the model so we must select the group and we can go to um, let me see let's go to skin and over here there's this thing called paint skin weights alright now what that does is if I just double click on this it shows me all of the joints and the white area here this tells me how much of an influence that particular joint has on the vertices of the model Alright, so for example, over here on my root, it has this much influence. Alright, lower back, it has this much influence. Belly, it has this much influence, so on and so forth. Alright, so this is the first way where we kind of use a brush tool over here, and then we have all our brush settings. And we can go ahead and paint which one's supposed to be heavier, which one's supposed to be lighter, etc. etc. Right. Another way for us to do this is for us to actually go to the vertices. So I'm just going to go to vertex and I'm going to, you see over here at the top here, there's this joint, select joint objects. I'm going to turn the joint objects off for now. And let's see, let's turn off some of these handlers as well. So that allows me to just select the vertices. So for example, if I were to go ahead and select all of these vertices over here so if we select the vertices over here and we go to window general editor and we go on to our component editor as you can see over here all of these are the vertices that we have selected all right so it's a total of 182 vertices that we have selected all right and it's basically telling me where are the influence these vertices are following all right now obviously all these vertices are following the left so it's following the left hip left knee ankle etc etc so it should not be following all of these right things over here all right so what we can do is we select like the top 
left hand side of the right ankle over here and we can just scroll down all the way and then since it ends at the right so I'm gonna press shift and select the bottom over here and I'm gonna zero this out just press zero and click on enter as you can see now all of these vertices does not have any right influence on it so that means that it's a hundred percent confirmed right mathematically at least that this group of vertices has no influence it's not going to follow any of these joints on the right right so that is another way for us to be a bit more accurate in painting our skin widths all right so the idea is we're going to go around the whole model all right and we're gonna first of all do a uh, use our paint skin with tools all right so which is this so i'm gonna put this on my shelf i'm gonna use this tool to just give it a one over so just gonna go ahead, go ahead and paint the basic things and then we're gonna use our component editor and make sure that all of the basic things like for example the left it should be on the left not on the right all right and then finally we're going to go around it a third time where this time we're going to add some animation to it all right like a bend knee or a, you know i'm going to like rotate the head around and then we're going to try to paint out some of these areas just to make sure that when there's an animation happening some of these vertices are not popping out all right so we're going to paint skin weight this using three techniques so the first one is using the paint weight techniques second one using the component editor and lastly we're going to use a combination of the paint weights and component editor while this model has some form of animation to it all right so that's what we're going to do all right so moving along we're going to start with the first type of paint skin weights right which is go on and click our paint skin weight tool over here all right double click to get this options out all right so we're gonna start off with perhaps the let's start off with our lower back all right so the lower back is actually this joint over here let me turn on my joint over here all right so this is the lower back over here um, let me put this as a reference for now all right so I won't be able to select my model so this is my lower back over here let me just double click this again go back to our alien and then we use our paint skin with tools all right so we need to make sure that the lower back does not have any influence right below here all right so I'm going to go and replace this area here I'm just gonna do about halfway through because we can actually mirror the this skin width all right then I'm going to go and put a value of 0 and we're going to delete away all of these areas over here now sometimes we might not be able to get it 100% it's okay we can do it in the second round where we start to use our spreadsheet right so like I said I'm only going to do about halfway so as long as the area around there gets the influence it needs which is this joint over here I will be quite happy with that right now the idea is for us to paint the most part of it white and then after that maybe we put about a halfway value to kind of blend it a bit right over here right just a bit not too much right so more or less happy with that so I'm gonna go on to the belly next again should not have any influence in any of these areas and then we'll put it a bigger influence for the one that really matters which is the belly Again, I'm gonna bring it about halfway through to kind of make sure that it have this gradient blend across right something like that again I'm not, I'm not trying to get it a hundred percent right I'm just trying to get majority of it right okay again we'll mirror this over let's go to the hip next going to reduce all of this zero so 
So the ship is this guy over here. Let's make sure that it's at the correct area since some over here they don't have the influence. Yeah, something like that would be better. And of course, it's a bit too high over there, so I'm just going to reduce some of this area that's supposed to be for the back instead. So, we should not have any influence here. This all would belong to the back. Okay, I'm only going to do about halfway through. Alright, so here's the back. Let's reduce where it's not supposed to be. Right, actually we don't have to do this side, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna bring it up a bit for this area where it's supposed to have influence. there and of course this area we don't want it to have any influence this is the neck and stuff like that make sure the head all doesn't have any influence again sometimes you might miss out some of these things so we're going to precision engineer this when we go ahead to our component editor. right now we're just trying to get a uh, very basic again doesn't you don't have to spend too much time on this the idea is to get as much of the basics as you can as possible using this method and then later on we're going to do two more passes on this where we're going to um, do a bit of a precision engineering for find out the areas that actually is going to cause us problems right so that's the back and then we have our collarbone again we want to make sure that all of this does not have any influence at all nope, make sure this is high and the other one is low now there's a difference between opacity and value value is where it adds the white or adds doesn't add the white and then that's, this is the strength so if you put this at zero even though the value is zero it's not going to add anything right it means there's nothing it's not adding anything so if you put a value at zero so it's going to add a zero value which is the black all right so hopefully you don't get too confused about how to use that so this is supposed to be a collarbone so it shouldn't have any influence in the back now that it's supposed to have any influence right over here um, might be easier to just use the component editor right about now but I think I'm just going to show that in a more systematic way where I'll do it for a second pass and this pass we're going to just focus on the areas that we need to focus on okay, I just want to make sure that this area I probably don't want it to have too much over here but because it's a bit hard for us to paint it out right now I'm just going to do my best to paint out this area over here but later on we can, like I said, use the component editor to get all these areas in the neck all out. So you can just try your best to get everything out. Now again, I need to emphasize that it's a good idea for you to start saving your work because sometimes depending on the computer you use, you know, Maya might just crash. And don't say I didn't want you, so please save your work regularly. So this one, I think I'm going to put it somewhere around the neck area. I mean, we can put it just a bit. We can have a bit of value over here, but not too much. Again, I would prefer to use a bit of a component editor over here, since it's a bit hard to paint. But yeah, we can leave it like this for now. Just put a bit more over here. Just give it more influence around this area and this area as well. Okay, I'll just stop there. 
Now we have our left shoulder. Right, so again, left shoulder shouldn't have any influence around this area. Nothing at all over here actually. Then I'm gonna make sure that all this area does not have any influence as well. Like I said, um, I would prefer to use a component editor for this one, but again, I'm just doing a first pass, a very, very quick first pass. And then I'll get more specific later on. Just get as much of this as you can. Right, so we're gonna continue on to do the same for all of these other sides and for well, maybe the fingers as well. Right, so let's continue on to the left elbow. Again, we don't have this kind of thing. It's pretty obvious that it doesn't belong to the left elbow, so we gotta get rid of those. Right, these areas all belongs to the shoulder and neck area a bit. So I just wanna make sure that everything here is changed. Right, and left elbow will control up to here, so probably want to make sure that some of these are painted out. So this would belong to the left wrist, actually. Perhaps I'll just make it have like half influence right over here because I just realized it's going to bend over here and we don't want this to bend too much. So we'll see how it works like on the phase 3 where we, the third pass where we start to uh, uh, paint skin weights while looking at the animation. So as you can see things get a bit more technical right about this part so I hope you can still follow along. things still make sense to you. Alright, so more or less done for that area. Now let's go to the wrists. So again, shouldn't have any influence over here. And maybe about halfway influence over here. And it should more or less belong to the elbow. I'll just paint about half of this again. I'm just doing it really, really quickly to kind of show you the technique that I would usually use to rig a biped character. And then I just want to make sure that it doesn't go too much to the palm as well. So let me just change my brush size a bit. actually get to the left palm again and make sure that it doesn't have any influence over here absolutely no influence over here So over here it gets um, a bit more complicated um, where things start to get a bit more clustered, they are a bit more crammed together, especially the fingers and stuff like that. So perhaps it would be a good idea for us to just use um, our second part of this which is the component editor. 
but we'll just, we just we can just make something very basic over here because when you start to go to like you know left index finger, I just want to leave it alone and just want to make sure that there's no influence on the palm. So I, I don't really care about what's happening over here. I'll, I'll be a bit more specific in the second part, but I just want to make sure that the obvious part is painted out, right? So like for example over here, you know it's supposed to be this finger not that finger and it's a bit hard for us to paint sometimes so again we're going to use a component editor for this which is much easier to use so but we just try to get you know most of it there again left index just want to make sure that the left middle finger doesn't get anything and the palm doesn't get anything So that's the idea. Um, you can skip, go ahead, skip ahead um, until you finish all of the left. But um, I'm, I'm probably going to just show you one more finger, and then after that, I'll skip ahead towards the legs instead. Again, the idea is for this part here. You just want to make sure that the obvious part. So if you select a left little, make sure that there's no white influence over here. All right. So you gotta make sure that at least the basics is covered. All right. So if it's a little finger, make sure that there's nothing on the ring finger. Or any edges and finger on it, alright. So go ahead and do that. Uh, probably um, skip this area because you do it for one finger, it's the same for the rest. And then when you come back and you're done with this, we're gonna start to tackle the legs next, alright. So that's what we're gonna do. 